Hi, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making a dish with, it's called chicken and kielbasa and rice. Now, I haven't made this for a while, so I'm going to be peeking at my recipe off and on. You'll want to start with, I think it's about three quarter pound of chicken. And cut that in bite sized pieces. And you'll brown this in your skillet. Um, put about a tablespoon, maybe a little more of olive oil in it. Now if you don't have, you can use different sausage if you don't have that. But it just depends on what you want to use. This is one of those make it your own recipes. I love those recipes. Okay. Normally I would change cutting boards, but this is going to go right in with my chicken, so I don't think it's going to hurt it. And you'll want to cut your sausage up. It's been a dreary day today. kind of wants to rain, and they say it's going to rain, then it's going to snow, and I wish they quit saying that dirty word. I've had enough snow, and I think everybody else has, too. I'm ready for gardening. <laughs> I know it's early, but I'm still ready. I think Greg's ordered most of his seeds already. Got my list made, but I haven't got them ordered. I'm going to get rid of this and get a different cutting board and wash my hands. Okay. Then we're going to take, I need the, a, about a fourth of an onion. been one of those winters. I had that terrible storm that went through and oh my goodness, but we didn't have it as bad as a lot of people had it. This might get done if I turn the burner on. Now we'll want to cook the meat until the pink is out of the chicken. I'll take about a quarter of our onion. I think this will be enough. I don't really measure it that much because we like onion. And I'm sure after you've cooked as much as most of us women have, we just kind of eyeball it. hope everybody's been well this winter. I'll tell you what, I got so many pretty cards from everybody and I just want to thank you all for them. But I got two that 
just really, really were beautiful. And I don't know if they do everybody's like that. I'm sure they do because I'm not anything special. But I had one that, it was a small card and it had a little cabin on it. Just sketched. And then it had a little, behind it, it had a little barn. And over here was a little tree. It was the prettiest little thing. And I didn't have my glasses on when I first opened it. I read the inside and realized who it was from. And then later on the outside, down in the corner, it was signed. And she had watercolored painted it for me. And it was the prettiest card. So I put that in a frame and I kept it. And it, it just it's just so special when someone does something like that for you. Um, it's just really, really special. And then there was there were so many pretty ones. But this one, the card was pretty. But I'm telling you, I have never saw an envelope like this. I don't know if she has them special made or if she prints them. But my, my husband said, you're going to open that? And I said, I'm just looking at it. It's beautiful. So I got my letter opener, and I opened it at the top real careful because it had a scene on the front of it of horses running through the field. It was beautiful, and it wrapped all the way around the card. And it was just a, like a ranch, and all the way around through the field and through the barnyard and I have never ever seen a card as beautiful I mean an envelope as beautiful as that I mean that was pretty just to send that out instead of sending a card the card was pretty when I opened it it, it was a picture of a horse a nice little note in it oh it was just so pretty and so special and um, and then I looked at the stamp and the, on the um, collar, it was a shirt, cowboy shirt. And on the collar, there were little sequins. I have never seen anything so pretty in all my life. And I just want to thank you for sending me that. It was just so special, so pretty. And everyone is so special to me. And I just, I appreciate every little thing like that. And all my cards and everything that I got. And everything I get like that. It's just, but that one there, those two really stood out. And I just, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone that sent cards to me and sends cards to me. I just really, really appreciate them. Now I'm going to add my onion in there and saute it a little bit. You know, you can be having a bad day and get a card, and it just really picks you up. And then I'm going to add about half a teaspoon of curry powder. Now I'm going to have all this posted down below. All the ingredients and everything because you know me, I'll forget something to say. and uh, But it'll all be posted down below. Oh, now that brings out the flavors in it. But you know, if you've got a neighbor that's sick or a friend in church or someone that you hear about that doesn't feel too good, you can go to the Dollar Tree and buy a card for 50 cents. It costs more for a stamp than it does a card today. I'm telling you. And then we're going to add in a can of chicken noodle, chicken, yeah, chicken noodle, chicken soup, chick cream of chicken. 
I'm going to add in a can of that. And I was talking to my niece last night. I was texting with her for just a couple seconds or so. She's got COVID, and I didn't want to keep her on the line too long, so I wanted her to get a rest. And she said it just makes her feel so good to know that someone's thinking about her and praying for her because she didn't, you know, when you got COVID, you don't feel good, and you don't know if anyone's even thinking about you. And uh, so if someone's sick, you know it, let them know you're thinking about them. It don't take but a minute to send a text and a message and let them know that you love them. About a third of a cup of water. And then we're going to add in our can of well, it's a box now, of coconut milk. I should have shook that up a little bit better, I think. Coconut's got it kind of messed up in there. I just bought this at the store. It's good, but it's just really thick. I'm guilty of not sending cards or not getting a hold of people that's sick and things going on. And uh, we really should. I should contact people more often than I do. So if you know somebody that doesn't feel good or that's down or has got something going on, try to get a hold of them. Let them know you're thinking about them and that you love them. Okay, now... We're going to add, get some of this out of my way. We're going to add in about three cups of broccoli. This is a full meal in one skillet. <laughs> and then we're going to add in our rice. We're going to add a cup of uncooked rice. Okay, and after we do that, we're going to put a lid on it. We're just going to, we're going to put a lid on it. We're just going to let it simmer for about 15 or 20 minutes. Oh, that smells so good. That curry powder just brings all those flavors together. That broccoli just, ugh. Okay. Now we're going to cover that and let that simmer for about 15 minutes. And then we'll come back and see what, what we have. Okay, I am back and I think my dish is finished. It smells delicious. I wish y'all could smell it.
chunks of chicken in there and our sausage, our broccoli, the onion. Hot. I hope you'll all try it. I will have all the ingredients posted down below. If you have any questions, let us know. Now you can add any kind of sausage in that that you want. Add turkey if you don't want to add chicken. I know some of y'all have canned turkey. Uh, I'm going to garnish it with a little bit of tomato. Wished I had some fresh out of my garden, but not garden time yet, but I can dream, can I? So, and then I'm just going to set this aside on the table. So if someone wants some, they can add some more to it. And uh, makes a pretty dish too. I hope you'll all try it looks great I'm gonna taste it I'm gonna burn my mouth I always do that though don't I hmm but I have to taste it I haven't had this for a while hmm mm. That is wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. You need to try it. Mmm. And you just have one dish to do. Your skillet. Mmm. And like I said, after you get it on there, add a few more tomatoes to it. There you go. And you know, I appreciate all of your cards. Appreciate all your comments. Appreciate everybody out there praying for us because we're praying for you, praying for your health. And everybody that's had bad weather. And you know, God's going to get us through all this. He really is. So, just hang in there and um, say hello to your neighbors. Smile to people. They need it, and we need it. And we'll be bringing you a lot more videos real soon. Thank you for watching today. We love you, and thank you. Bye. Bye.